Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. And today we're doing a really fast tip revolving around sunrise and sunset pictures using radial filters. Little trick, really it's not a new feature by any means, it's just using a feature possibly in a different way. So here I have a sunset picture taken at the beach and I've already edited it for brightness and for contrast, but I'm looking at it and I would like to add a little bit more visual interest and of course we have the sunset happening inside of the photograph so little trick for you to replicate with your sunrise or sunset images I'm gonna come over here and you'll notice that inside of the color tool tab I've made sure to have the layers tool now if you don't have the layers tool inside of the colors tool tab I would add it in but of course alternatively you could get to it using the adjust tool tab but we're gonna grab a radial filter and what I want to do is find the area where the sunset is taking place and I want to create a nice long and thin radial filter and I really want this to feather a lot so I'm going to grab the interior circle and pull that down so that most of the radial filter is actually feathering outwards and now I'm going to take this make sure it's centered where I want over where the sunset kind of was come to my color tool tab and I'm going to come to the white balance tool and taking the white balance tool I'm just going to take that area and I'm going to add some warmth and adding just a little bit to the area of the sunset is going to add that golden uh, color right to that area of the photograph mix up my color temperature and add in what I think is the missing ingredient into the shot just to make it a little bit more interesting so like I said very simple tip really not a new feature by any means but using a feature in a way that we may not have thought of using before all right that's what I've got for you this time thanks for joining me I'll see you next time